Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Fox of JAME2 Architecture. And I'm Marissa of Marissa Orly Interiors. And today we are going to be discussing where do we get our inspiration for creating new spaces and how do we design a room? So Marissa, tell us a little about your inspiration process. Sure. So my inspiration uh, comes from color. I do a lot of design with color and I really am inspired by nature. So if we're in an area where there's beautiful greenery or they have a beautiful backyard, I'm trying to bring the inside, the outside in. And I also have an, an affinity for uh, furniture. I love different lines and uh, bringing furniture from the past to the present and modernizing things. And in that way, using a lot of different textiles and fabrics in my designs. Mm -hmm. And as for the process and the how I design a room, uh, I really take into account who's living there, what the application is for that room. Uh, if, if it's a dining room, are we hosting holidays? Or it is that's all it's used for? Is it every week we're having Sunday dinner in there? So mm -hmm. it, these little ideas or these little facts really dictate what I'm putting in the space, like really comfort furniture, uh, sturdy quality pieces. And I tend to design from the ground up. So I love textiles, I love fabrics, and then I love rugs. So I'll really find a fantastic rug and that tends to a beautiful light fixture and the room will grow from there. But it, it normally comes from the ground up. So it'll be a, a rug and then I'll pull up some color from that rug uh, onto the walls and then something from there splashed into my furniture choices. That's a really cool concept that I love that I can't say I've heard before, but it's yeah. really interesting that you'll start with the floor and work your way up. Right. And Cause right. really sometimes that's gonna be the the broadest and most of the use of any certain material is going to be the floor. And you can work with, yeah, like you, exactly like you said. I mean, that's really interesting. And yeah. every single piece, not to cut you off, but every single piece that you mentioned too is kind of completes the entire puzzle of like a cohesive design. Right, right. And lots of different things, different marks you have to check, different boxes you have to check in every room. Like it's, it's, a, it's a box and in every room we need the floor we need the paint colors we need the lighting we need the furniture like it's it's every checklist every mm -hmm. room so what about yourself how do how do you engineer to architecture yeah. how do you find inspiration in creating it, new spaces and how does the process work it's interesting that with with someone like yourself and an interior designer you're working within the parameters of a space and mm -hmm. the geometry of a space. We're creating that geometry. So my inspiration will come from, and I'm a math guy, so I've always loved geometry and shapes and you know those kinds of things, proportions. So when we're working with an existing building, we'll look at the general proportion of the home on the site for doing an addition, the geometry of the property. If mm -hmm. we're doing a new building, how that's gonna, because really that's gonna dictate the build the overall envelope of the building anyway. So we'll be inspired. And sometimes it can be almost like a, not a necessarily inspiration, but it's, sometimes it's a little forceful because of it's just the nature of the way it is. But you use that as inspiration and as a positive to kind of tell the story of, of the design. Mm -hmm. um, and if we're working with, you know, a, a residential, um, you know, home, and it's in something like a historic neighborhood, which I'm sure you work in, in so many historic neighborhoods. And mm -hmm. there's maybe an architectural review board. They're going to they're gonna have their own say in what they want the home to look like. Maybe you have to be inspired by the surrounding neighborhood. You know, maybe if it's, um, you know, in, in something like New York City, it needs to match a certain period of time and match the surrounding buildings. Sure. Um, so you look at the neighborhood and the surrounding architecture for inspiration and even more, sometimes the homeowner or the client have inspiration or ideas themselves that they'll bring to you. And as a, as a starting point, which certainly helps. 
And then when you have, you know, ground up buildings, like something like unique fitness that we did in a large commercial building, mm -hmm. you, you take inspiration from their branding and their logos. And then the overall concept of what is a gym, you know, you think of like strength, you take, you think of like stone or hard materials, something very mm -hmm. grounding. So that's how you really start to start that process. But, um, but yeah, anything else to add? I mean, I, that's pretty much my no, it, it's very true. You know, it, it's fascinating when you're working with historic places and you don't yeah. really have to take the respect of the past into mind and consideration. And, and like you said, in doing some designs, uh, every client you work with is different and everyone has a different approach to this. And some are really involved and some really want you to use this piece of furniture that's been passed down and you're mm -hmm. you, that's your inspiration for the room where yeah. that or this view is dictating mm -hmm. the positioning of the new space of of the building you're constructing we want to focus on this view and we yeah. want you to create a building around it so it's it's really interesting how everyone gets their inspiration for spaces yeah and almost like every conversation or topic that we discuss it's really so dependent on the client and the project and the location and just the overall experience of being on the site and mm -hmm. so many factors but again it all comes together in the end so yes well great question and we hope to hear more and if you like this video please let us know and give us some questions below about any design interests you have or any thing you've seen recently that you're interested in. Definitely. And yeah. Give us a like, send us a comment, direct message, any questions. I mean, we've been getting a lot of great feedback. So we thank everyone for that. Yes. And I'm Marissa of Marissa Orlick Carriers. And I'm Tyler Fox of JM2 Architecture. Thank you. Thanks.